recording. Yeah, I still can have it here. Yeah, Um, basically, I just wanted to, it's going to be a quick presentation, just to look at some figures. Um, I think the basic premise is that we are looking at um, the universal and the pro kits, basically the kits. And if somebody wants one fully built, that will probably be uh, a special order, you know, kind of thing. Uh, and um, just looking at some figures where we have um, your one unit selling at 600. This, this is for the universal selling at 600. And the cost of um, the materials, cost of goods sold is 300. So you have a margin of 300. Now, um, what I was thinking of was to do this like on a commission basis. In other words, if we have, say, like Natalie helping out with the marketing and sales, um, uh, paying out on a commission basis. So, so for each, um, so in this case, for each printer sold, each, each printer sold, get a commission. In fact, it's not, um, I'm saying Natalie, but anybody who actually sells a printer would get a commission of $75. Now, uh, one of the things, uh, on the screen, uh, it's okay. Oh. Uh, one of the things um, I think we still need to sort out with OSCE is the actual split um, because uh, I think OSCE will be providing uh, QC, quality control services and so I don't know uh, are we doing that on an hourly basis or how we, how we can do that. Anyway, still to be discussed. So basically, so what I've done is I've actually just taken um, the 75 off the 300 margin and then split the remainder between OSE and Chem. Right. Uh, and uh, expenses would be the total. And then uh, what's what's left over from uh, after subtracting expenses. So. So then it just shows, so for one unit, for two units, for three units. I think the target here is to try and get up to about um, one unit per day. In other words, 30 units per month. That would be... Uh, Working seven days a week? Sorry? Seven days a week, that kind of um, roughly? Well, the thing, the thing about the kits is that if you have an order for, say, like last time, five or six, you can do that actually in a day. Just to yeah. to put it all together. So yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah. So not necessarily working seven days a week, but um, yeah. But uh, um, w w but what I'm trying to emphasize is that for say 30 printers a month, or 30 kits, I should say, 30 printer kits a month, it, it's it's quite it's a reason it's a sizable uh, income. income. Right, uh, then, the, so the first part is the universal kits, and then the second part is the pro kits. So, uh, I've put PNL, I, I mean, I don't know if that's actually uh, financially correct, uh, profit and loss. Uh, so, the cumulative, so over, so if we, if we um, sell, say, 30 universal kits in one, in a month, 30, uh, that I could get an income of thirty three uh, sorry three thousand, and there's actually about five thousand eight hundred left over, cumulative, cumulatively. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the same again, the same treatment for the um, the DV, D3D Pro, uh, where we have uh, under looking at one unit. Sorry, can you explain the PNL thing? Uh, basically, it's just uh, what I did was. Uh, oh yeah. 
I see PNL there, yep. And then what's the 5812 on the 30? 5812, right. Okay, going from one unit, um, say one unit, two units, actually, this doesn't make sense now that I think about it. But anyway, um, uh, it, it was actually, it was cumulative, cumulative. So the, the first, uh, first this, no, this doesn't actually work like that. It doesn't actually work like that because it's like days, but no. Uh, but what would be more accurate is if we just look at column M mm -hmm. uh, and we look at, um, so the PNL would actually be 375. Three Commission is if you get a sale. So if you sell a printer and we get the money in, then you get a commission. Seventy-five dollars. Yeah, seventy-five dollars. So it's an affiliate yes, model. So, yeah, and basically. It's so then you expect people to do what to get their affiliate tracking? Well, yeah. Uh, I suppose all the content can be provided. Oops, sorry, did I stop presenting? Mm -hmm. No, that uh, wasn't the idea. Uh, uh, no, I think you just closed the window. Oh, I closed the window. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, this one is this one that I was actually prepared to present. Uh, it's not showing up, so you just got to uh, try it again. There's a button on the top, top there. So basically, so yeah, the affiliate model, basically, and then there's um, something that Paul brought up, which was the um, what the equity, the sharing out of the equity. So in other words, um, there'll be money left over from the sales as we get up. If we can get up to about 30 printers a day, there'll be money left over. So um, what I was thinking was that the the split, the I suppose that would be that becomes our equity. Is that correct? Yeah, the equity split would be under the grant fund model. Right? Oh, you want to use that? Yeah, no, I'm not. I mean, it's, uh, it seems fair. 
Okay. Yeah, so in other words, the grunt, yeah, in, in <coughs> or at least what I understand about the grunt fund is that um, the way you share the equity is based on what inputs that you make to the company. So in other words, um, as an example, because all the materials, all the equipment, uh, all the, um, the premises or facilities will be using will be belong to OSC, so they will get the <laughs> the lion's share of the equity, and then um, <laughs> whatever hours, for instance, if mm -hmm. Natalie is uh, working on marketing, so whatever hours she puts in, she gets a share of the equity based on the number of hours that she contributes to the company, um, like that. That's, uh, so I think basically that's how it works. And then uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that um, Paul is working on the Paul, the other Paul, is working yeah. on the website, and so a lot of I think a lot of the content will pull from uh, the OSC website. Mm -hmm. So we'll use that uh, as a springboard to launch the business. But uh, um, I think one thing that we need to work on is uh, is on the um, uh, what do you call the the build instructionals. To mm -hmm. um, what is it to correct to update to, to update, update building yeah, instructions, yeah, yes. to build instructions before we send out and um, I suppose we do have our first customer Anthony. Did <laughs> well, he did he commit or is he? he yeah, it, he, yeah, he did commit. He shook, we shook hands on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so to buy a printer. Who did it? Someone did. Anthony. 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 Yeah. And so he wants to be your first client. Yes. So the question is, um, how do we receive money? That's yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, right now we have the the order the, the purchase form on the website, which is, it just goes through Evanzilla. Okay. Right, so, so that's we that's use that. we can use that right now. Um, I've been running it through that. Oh, sure. mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so explain in a nutshell. Say, say we make 30, 30 sweet little OSC printers. So the numbers there are. What was that? What were the actual numbers there? Can you pull that thing up? Um, I can't. It's not, I don't know why. Yeah, it's yeah. Right. It's not the This is this is um, this is Indonesia. This oh. is this is. Uh, this was um, yeah. Where were you looking at another thing? Um, this was one I, I yeah. I, need to, I don't know what's happening. It's just Your computer me. ate it. Can you shut it and then start it again? Shut all those things. Shut this one and and then just open it up yeah. again. Okay. Uh, too many windows. Oh, okay. Yes, too many windows. Okay, it's um. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, sorry. What yeah. So, so we're we're saying there's commission. There's. OSC. Yeah. Is there any way to share the three spreadsheets? So like, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, but uh, that's not recording then anymore. <coughs> so, <coughs> right, right, can. And what's uh, that? Three seventy-five is the yeah. stuff that's that yeah. that becomes the grand share. Yeah, that, that would be. Uh, that it's would called grant share. Um, the equity, which you was, which will be, uh, um, what is it? Uh, he called, I think grant grant fund. Grant it's fund. a dynamic equity split. Oh, dynamic equity split. I can explain briefly if you want. Please, yeah. explain it, Paul. Um, so in a, it's a promise of future <laughs> equity, right? Because in the beginning, when you, you have a startup, you can't figure out what the estimates are like, right? 
that's on too many unknowns. So uh, the assumption is that everybody gets paid in fictional money at their market rate, depending on the kind of contribution they make. So you track all these contributions, materials, connections, uh, rent, facilities, and uh, you add them all up. And at the end, you have a percentage input. And that's your equity. So at the point where uh, you decide to turn it into a real business, uh, you, you use that percentage as the vesting schedule in the future. Yeah, but uh, what about the, uh, I thought Ken was talking about other people, not, not, not facility no, no, plant plus agent. Everybody's on it. That's the whole idea. That's how it's fair. So you quantify everything. And um, because the three of you have contributed so much, you would have the initial uh, uh, exercise in convincing the third, fourth contributor uh, of the percentage yeah. that they should work towards. That's the... That's what keeps the thing fair. Yeah, I don't think there's such a thing as fair in that thing, because uh, unless those people are are very intimately involved in it, you can never make that fair. It's like people popping in and out. You can't count it. Uh, right. So there's the rules uh, that you will pre-agree on. In the fact that you quit, so you don't stick around, you lose the equity that you would have gotten. Oh, I like that. Ooh, little continuity so, so mechanism. There's, there's, there's incent the incentive structure is to minimize the amount of conflict that happens usually. And how do you determine the, those those schedules? <coughs> you decide. It's, it's the people uh, who contribute. Yeah, it's all super complicated. But uh, no, you use the market rate as the baseline. That that's easy. But yeah. like, okay, so and say then for you example, your time and contributions. At which point, for example, would you lose it? Lose would your you chance? Lose yeah, because you cut out. Uh, well, if you stop contributing, then, or or you quit, or you get fired because you did something stupid, then you would. There, there's different uh, rules. Yeah. But, but the point is to keep the people along. The hard problem is keeping people engaging, and it's not getting rid of them. It is about keeping people engaged. I, I think the easiest way to keep people engaged is is when they become agents like Ken. Agent has a direct stake. He's actually doing the work. Correct. Right. So, there, so how do you get so people at that level? Well, mm -hmm. Ken needs to sell himself as a great collaborator, the same way that you sold yourself and always see as a great collaborator for Ken to join you. Ken now needs to do the same, and this, this gets quantified and tracked in this promise of future equity. Mm -hmm. Just to keep things simple, so you don't it's have like to spend that. money on legal in corporations before you, uh, uh, you know, before it becomes like. Too, too much. Where'd you get that? Slicing pie. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Uh, is that from Paul? It's the guy, it's yeah. the guy who, who wrote the ground fund model. Where's that link? Where do I find it? Oh, okay. Uh, I'll, put it, I'll put it in the chat. Katarina, what's your professional opinion on this topic? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't, um, I understood the equity at market rate part. I didn't understand the, its future. Uh, future because uh, in the beginning, the There's company is, has no money. There's I no, see, yeah. I see. So, so, so when is that threshold that you say? Yeah, There's like all those thresholds are funky. Which everyone starts to get paid for what they did in the past? Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. And how, what is that threshold usually? There's no usually, because uh, every business is different. Mm. So it's uh, whatever. So for example, You're in this case... You're going to say, once we have a profit that reaches this much per month, then everyone starts to get paid? Yeah, you could do that if you want. It would be a dividend, because everybody would, ch would hold shares, right? Oh, okay. So you would get paid dividends if you wanted that, yes. Right, and the shares are assigned per market value? Uh, no, per... Uh, per market value times the amount of time you spend doing that kind of work right. at that market rate. Right, right. right. So, so for example, you could look at a proxy of like, okay, how much effort, time, attention it took to make a, a design in general on the market, uh -huh. right? So how, like it's a team, let's say, of five people uh, working for six months and they design a 3D printer. This one happens to be open source. Yes. So we can use the, that as a proxy. Okay, five people, that's half a million, right? right. So from the get-go, you start with a promise of future equity of fictional half a million, right? So now everybody else who wants to join you 
uh, would have to agree that that is what it's worth, right? And start contributing. And eventually, if, let's say you have another five people, marketing, business, tech, website, right? And mm. after six months, they contributed an equivalent amount, then at the end of the year, and you did nothing as designers of the initial print, then at the end of the year, you would have 50-50 equity. You know, the initial designers and the, the new group. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's, yeah. it's, 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 that, that's what makes it fair. You agree, you pre agree at your market rate, and then you build a, this fictional pie, and at the end, you end up, uh, when, when the time comes to incorporate for real, then you have some baseline of, of what works or doesn't. But so how do you count? One model. Yeah. How would you? I, I agree with you that that's for an open source model. My instinct is telling me that I think that would work within like a more limited group of people. I find that that is too complex for open source. Um, and also because, for example, if you just said like six people work on a 3D printer for six months, but what if one of them puts 12 hour days and the other one puts six hour days? Right, right. right. So I'm, I'm, I simplify. Yeah. But or someone idea. like you know, someone put like. Maybe they didn't put as many hours, but they brought this really amazing contribution just right, because right. it's really exactly. And I find that that's hard to quantify. No, no, I know, but you don't yeah. have to quantify. You just need to agree between everybody okay. else but what that is worth. Right, but then th but I assume that everybody else who's going to agree is already in this room, and this is an open room, so people are going to keep coming in and questioning it. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah. I mean, they'll they'll evaluate it for assuming everything is public and open. In fact, right, that would be easy. The cost of you trying to explain this is zero. They'll just have to convince themselves that it's worth their time to join you, and and vice versa, because it's a it's a it's a mutual relationship, right? Right. Yeah, I don't know. I find that like my instinct is telling me that this would be too complicated because I don't think that that's what's going to happen when you describe Paul. I understand that in theory that's what happens, but my experience with open source communities and this and specifically what we see is that people are going to want to participate and they're going to want it to do it in their own terms. And then we're going to be rene renegotiating this with every single person. Uh, Once you get that impression, yep. Martian? Yeah. That everyone's just going to fight back. Every and then we're going to end up spending enormous amount of time, all of us, just negotiating the social aspects of the situation. Uh, my instinct is that we got to keep it simpler. Um, why, what about the franchise model? That presupposed that this still doesn't solve the original problem of who owns what equity. We still have to solve that problem. That's Not a different really, problem. no. I mean, like, if you take McDonald's, you have the people who invented McDonald's, you have the people who I know, but McDonald's. that's not the problem we're at yet. That's once you are in business with the initial founders of McDonald's, then you can create the franchise business model. But you still have to figure out what the equity is right now. So you, it could be just the studio B, for example, and you just leave it at that, and then we can talk about the business model. But you're not there yet from what I understood from Ken. In terms of the development you're talking about? No, no, in terms of like who owns what of 3D Nancy. Well, this is open source, so that's the only source. Right? Yeah, the, the product is open source, but then there's the business. But that's what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the franchise would solve that. In which that you own your business, Christian owns his business, and people pay OIC for the use of the brand and marketing services. And that's a simple, let's franchise. Right? And then you just have to agree on a share of how much do you pay OEC for the use of the brand and uh, you know what I'm saying? And you kind of ignore all the work that OEC already did this, but that's a I mean, I guess that's that's what it is, right? Well, paying for the brand is, uh, I suppose, right. should take care of that. Right. It includes the yeah. all the work that was put into creating that product yeah. to this point. And then, because the, the printer has an, a share-alike clause, everyone is just, whatever, you have to put it in a common pot. You, mm -hmm. have, you have to do it. And, and then you make a decision where you want to develop this printer and put it in a common pot, mm -hmm. or you don't want to do open source. Does that make sense to you? Franchise model makes sense to me. Say that again? Franchise models make sense right. to me. I think that we got to keep it real simple so that it's scalable. Because if you have to negotiate with every single person, no, I, I think I think I agree with Paul that before we even get to the franchise model, this is a core group for this particular business, 
And in my mind, uh, I'm look the way I'm looking at it, it's myself, it's OSE, it's um, say for argument's sake, say Natalie, who's going to do help us with right. marketing, and Paul, who's helping us with the right. website. In so what I'm suggesting, right, I understand. Yeah. So what I'm suggesting then is, is in a way that you get your cake and eat it too, in each, you take away C off of that group, some, you know, just for the sake of argument, mm -hmm. and now you, Natalie, and Paul, mm -hmm. you decide yeah. how you're going to share the equity on your business. Yes. You're the franchisees. And then the commission that your business pays OEC is just independent of what structure. And then says another group comes and they also want to run a business, but they don't want to do equity. They want to do something else. They mm. can too. Yes, uh, that will be. You know, so in that equity, that's what everyone gets what they need, mm. and OEC is not so involved in that because I feel that it's not scalable for OEC to be involved in those micro decisions. Not yeah. micro decisions, the decisions that each group is going to want to make different. Okay. Well, in my, uh, well, in, for this particular business, I'm not thinking that OEC is involved in the sense of um, management. Or, yeah. Right. But they're involved in the sense that um, they they are providing quality control. Right. Or, yeah. Right. For or, or even fabrication facilities in this yeah. specific yes. case. But then I think that we can put a market price on that. Mm. And you treat OEC like you would a franchise branch. OEC says like, hey, okay, so so say there's another group who also wants to do this, yeah, but they don't need the facility. So they, yeah. you know, they don't pay for facilities, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. And you just have kind of like a menu of prices. Mm. Um, and I, I find that... Yeah, okay. That, that, yeah. Would be, that would be OEC then. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can decide the equity between the four. Yes, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And in this way, I feel that it's scalable because everyone gets to do things. Rather than saying anyone who's involved in this has to follow this model. Uh, yeah. yeah, no, I don't think Ken uh, suggested that. He didn't say do the make equity, equity split. Oh, 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 we're just specifically talking, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're just talking about his business, the way he structured right, it. Right, and he was, right, right. I think he was hoping that you guys would be partners as co-founders. Right. <laughs> Right, yeah, I mean, I, that's up to you, uh, Martin, I, I, I was just kind of like, again, I've, I've been doing open source community for a while, and I feel there's like herding cats. <laughs> so the simpler you keep things, the more you allow people to do their thing, the less yeah. argument there is going to be. Yeah. And there's going to be argument uh, mm -hmm. about everything, mm -hmm. every step of the way. And it's, it's, it's a good thing, it's like it's a dynamic community, but it's... Yeah, that's just my instinct uh, on this. Yeah. It's found a way that everyone gets to do what they want to do with minimum friction. In the 30, like what you propose, Ken, right now with the 30, 30 units model. Mm -hmm. well, basically, 30, the aim would be to try and get up to 30 units uh, a day. Um, a month, a month. Sorry, sorry, a month, yes. Yeah. Um, actually, looking at it again, um, I mean, I've got 30 units for the D3, D Universa, and I also have 30 units for the Pro. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, maybe that's a bit too ambitious. I might scale it down to maybe... Yeah, I mean, this is between, all... Between the, uh, the Universa and the Pro. Because I, I think... Probably the, the Universal will sell more than the... Can, can you pull it up so I can, I can follow the discussion? So, okay, I, I, so I think I understood, I understood the first few rows. Okay. There's a commission, yeah. and the commission is attached to a code. To a... A code. Because, like, say you do marketing, like, who knows... You know what I'm saying? Who, mm. who sold that printer? Someone goes to upside and sold that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think that the way they do this is that, so say I'm selling your printers, because mm. I want to get the $75, I'll have a personal code that I'll give to the people that I'm advertising to. Oh, okay. So when they go to your website and they buy the printer, they put in that code, so you and know. Affiliate code. Right. Uh, I, I, that's the only way I can think of to track this. 
yeah. Where's this equity planning thing in this whole thing? Like, say you're doing yeah. that. Yeah. Where is that? Is the, that coming out of your 22 50? Uh, the equity, the equity split would be um, out of the P and L thing. Yeah, yeah. out of the. Um, I should put because. What's the P using a using profit a profit and loss? Profit and loss. Okay. Yeah. Uh, actually, I should. It shouldn't be cumulative. It shouldn't be cumulative um, because no, that doesn't work. It'll be cumulative if it's monthly. If I do it month by month. Uh, this way is not accurate but b anyway basically looking at the last column yeah uh, looking at the last column after all expenses for the um, for the universal you would get around there would be 375 left after all expenses and then for the uh, for the pro We'll be looking at about almost five thousand dollars after all expenses. I think something, something along those lines. But uh, but like I say, I think it's a bit ambitious to have thirty, thirty uh, universals and thirty pros in a, in one month. That's sixty units. It's doable, but uh, it all depends on getting the customers in. Is the pro really 370 for for materials? Um, I that's what I came up with from my um, Malaysia. Yeah, uh, Indonesia. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Indonesia. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this my my first response along with all those divisions. So like, okay, so you got thir 375 there. Mm. Um, I mean, are do you see Paul and Natalie as like continuous partners, or like when do they cut in, cut out? Like that that part is the hardest part. Like how do you how do you know what's going to happen there? Yeah. It's you don't. I mean, you, you know nothing, and so it's uh, it complicates it. Um, in which case, the simple solution in is is you pay them they for a service. Have life. Okay. Yeah, like you pay them so for a service, the or they do it for free. That's that's your two choices that are that are yeah. honest right now. Otherwise, yeah, you're just that saying that you would get the, your share of the, the, the sales, and you distribute that as you see fit with an agreement from them. Like for example, you can do like if I actually make money on this, I'm going to pay you X for the fact that you did this website today. Right. Mm. That's that's how you can solve that, because then it's like what if you agree to something right now, either you or he gets screwed because it's never going to be never going to be accurate. You can't predict the future. Is is, is my yeah. my viewpoint on it? Yeah. Like the those equity splits, like yeah. like when investors put money into it, someone's getting screwed royally in the, those kinds of arrangements. If they are outside investors, uh, I believe the agent. You're the agent here. You got to be getting the most booty out of this. Um, you kind of you make it happen because the seventy five. That's your production this, time, right? right? That's your production time. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean, I am. I, I am getting something out of it. Sorry. This is the. Um, this. This was my price list for. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We can get into the details yeah. of that. Uh, yeah. It could be so, but I thought it was a little higher. But. Yeah. I mean, my suggestion to you, and again, this comes from. <laughs> having some experience hurting cats is that hurting especially cats. when people have other lives and other hurting projects cats, they, they will contribute people. a little bit uh, mm. for your project maybe you don't know because see uh, Paul and Natalie like whatever their main life is they get a call and they have to go they have to go because that's what they do right that's yeah. their life yeah. and and then you're going to be like oh um, <laughs> how am I going to do this right um, the suggestion would be in the beginning that um, what what Marchand said in the sense that you contract services, or if they want to come as full partners or something. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it's a website, then you know. Then that's a payment for a website. Yeah. Yeah. 
exactly. Because it's maybe, maybe Paul, that's what Paul is saying. Maybe Paul is like, I'll make you accent and I'm going to move on because he's doing, he has his own project. Right? Yes. He has all of these other projects he's running. Right. Um, that That's the issue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, contracts. And you can even like phase it to say like, I'll say, hey Paul, like, you know, if you do me this like five page website right now, there's the bare minimum that I need. Once I make money, I'll hire you to do a bigger website or something. I don't know if Paul yeah. is into that, but you yeah. know. Yeah, I get it. Um, you can negotiate with each one of them individually what mm. would work for both of you. Yeah, yeah. as to opposed to some kind of an equity share um, in a business. That, yeah, I find that that's, that's just really unfair. For, for, this for one party true, or the other. True. That's not unfair. It's unfair only if you fail to agree on a fair schedule. And how do you predict yeah. a, how do you predict the future? But that's why there's there's that's why there's clauses. Is let's say we go on business together, 50-50, and we have a disagreement. You can put in a, a clause that makes the whole thing fair called, called the shotgun clause. You name the price, I decide to buy or sell. That makes things fair. So fairness is not removed from this contract. It can be embedded in if the, I, if the I, agreement I, I, is good. I, I, don't, I don't think that it's unfair. I just, I agree with you that it can totally be made fair. I just find that it's... Requires too much discussion? It's very complicated. Right, so we understand. Yeah. I think what they're saying is they don't want to be the least involved, which means that it's probably best, best for you to treat them as a, a supplier, right? Contract services. Or, yeah, so in this case, you borrow the brand, you license the brand, and the DQC uh, function, mm. right? And that, that way, you're not involved in this conversation because you don't want to be. You're involved, uh, you're involved in this conversation, which is OAC ends up outside as a contractor that gets paid according to some service that, that you guys preview on whatever that is. That is you feel the other fair. function that I would like OSC to in be included in is R&D and mm -hmm. that part, R&D business development. Okay. R&D plus distributed enterprise development. In other words, if you do this, I want to work with you to spread this because you're you're valuable it makes you very valuable if you succeed you're valuable test case <laughs> yes awesome. and then we can succeed in other places like if you're if you're actually running that business then we can get many people to sign up and you you'd generate value from that and OSC would generate value from that for us we want to teach people like enterprise you might want to teach people enterprise yes, too yeah. you're going to be teaching all those Southeastern peoples, <laughs> Southeast Asia. Uh, and there's quite a bit of them over there. Yeah. It is, it is. So that and would mean that you would be in, <laughs> you would have three different conversations, yeah. three different market rates, yeah. Yeah. right? Yep, to yep. make sure that the, the the collaboration is fair, well according to them and you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Or whatever you package it up, and it's going to be one payment every month or whatever, whatever you decide. That's a contract between 3D Messi and OAC, or just margin. I, I don't understand how you guys organize yourselves. Yeah. OAC. I answer to the board. You answer to the board? <laughs> OK, so. <laughs> and the board is uh, you and Katarina? <laughs> no, no, no. I am not on the board. It You're would be unethical. Because we're married. I can't be on the board. The board of directors are people who are like, no. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that would be a shitty board, I agree. <laughs> 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 so, so you want a better board. Who else is on the board? Colby, Thompson, okay. Okay. double yeah. people. Yeah. Okay, so see you Leaders maybe have to open hardware with community. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Martin will have to go and make a case to the board that this is uh, worth everybody's time, right? Your, your the board wouldn't be involved at this level. They're, they're not going to be involved in this level, but that will be something we discuss at our meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, in a, can, on the other side, you still need to figure out what, what you do with the right. rest of your team. All right. Yeah, the best. Yeah. You so got to get those services. So, it's about pinning down Paul, Natalie, like, okay, what specifically are you doing and how much is that worth? And we, we need to solve that in a simple way. Uh, I would definitely not go into like but this like long-term yeah, kind like of. We also have to think about, um, for example, so if OAC is providing the brand, I think it makes sense for OAC to do the website. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
uh, unless you make a website just for your enterprise. Yeah. That's why I keep going to the franchise, right? Like, you can have a website that is specifically just for cans, 3D printers. In, and then in website, you can sell other stuff that is not OEC. Mm -hmm. Or there's an OEC website that, you know, or a platform that OEC provides for sellers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you're not paying for that. Or you're paying for that, but like, as part of the licensing yeah. deal, rather than you you having to pay for the whole website. Okay. And I was imagining that it would be OEC's website. Uh, it would well, make sense the, on the brand that brand side. Yeah. Uh, uh, it would uh, make sense from the OEC point of view, not from the 3D Menti point of view. <laughs> so uh, the um, the problem with the you wanted to also bootstrap the 10K, brand. right from. Um, from uh, uh, Google that is tied to your website. You cannot, he cannot use it. I'm sorry, you see that but again? But we can use that for that. If, if, he's, a, if he's a franchisee, uh, no, he has access to that. It's tied to the website, to your website. It's tied to the domain. It is tied to the right. domain, So yeah. if you want to use that, oh. then Ken would pay you for yeah. having used that for him, right? That could be set up that way. And uh, is it like an actual domain or is it a URL? Could well, it, it has to have open source ecology. Could be yeah, can yeah. that open source ecology. Right, that's what I'm saying. That or you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that could work. And then you could get your 10K just for you. Which the other consideration there is it has to be in an, like, o OSC is an education organization. So we're actually not manufacturers. We actually have to have an element of education. In it. We sell the printer as an education device like we're right. teaching we're teaching people how to build mm -hmm. uh, but it's also related business income if we actually provide the full kit printer because it's co closely related to our main work which is education about 3d printers um, so that's the if you work with with us you'd have to be comfortable in that kind of environment that we're we're about teaching and changing the world that's that's kind of why we want the teaching is because we want to affect large masses to go into enterprise and change the world. Uh, that's why we stay. I'm trying to stay in the education model. That's, I mean, that's a well-developed business model. I mean, education, education institutions, they're effectively like slumlords and educators. I mean, they, they're like big land holders and stuff like that. There's, okay, <laughs> in terms of the website, there's another solution, which is that um, you can have you do get your own URL and your own you know, store, like when you carry OAC products, like if you carry some other products, um, but then OAC could also provide the template, which would be a way to support entrepreneurs. Where it's like, okay, be the here's a free package website that you can install in your server. That'll be the thing to, if we do the that, so you can do it, and then the next next guy, they don't have to go through all the yes. all the steps. We want to so can and clone that, it. That was the idea. Yeah. To have a yeah. Modern yeah. business model. Attempt, right. That. Right. And be replicated. By yeah, yeah. In, in which case, that cost should not specifically come out of Ken's money because it's going to serve the whole community. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So there'll be one less expense that you'd have in the beginning. Well, I mean, uh, Paul, you said that, oh, it benefits OSC to be under the OSC brand, but if Ken's interest is a line which is to educate the world or to change the world and he's definitely benefiting from it because he's closely tied to us oh and yeah of course uh, but and he's trying to build his company right so there's a conflict of brands to me i see oic as a badge like a better business bureau badge on his website validated that yeah. the content which is, is sure awesome like, to go, yeah. and like and i said like it could be ken's store and then ken's store says oh, oic products right. or other products you know like you right, know, exactly. you're not just so, so in that event. sense, there's a yes. conflict of brands, yeah. but you can be resolved a yeah. bunch of different ways. Yeah. I mean, another possibility is the franchise. You can have that option, have the franchise option in which, for all purposes, everything is branded OAC. Mm -hmm. Like everything is branded McDonald's, oh. even though you're the one running that business. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but those are, yeah. Different I mean, I'd love to see something like McDonald's, except it's real R&D and collaboration that goes back 
And is there any other model that we know of where the franchisee actively contributes to product development? I don't know of one. So, I mean, they do, they, they do in a sense, because they operate. They're, they're operational, right? So they run into problems on the ground that the head office they're doesn't see, back, yeah. right? That's how you end up with a burger of spicy chicken in India, right? So oh, that's yeah. R&D. Mm -hmm. It's uh, oh, yeah. not a huge R&D function. Yeah, it's a huge, huge it's one. Not, it's not huge. Not I don't huge? think it's huge. It's most of the menu in McDonald's is the same all over the world, except in special places that are few and because the local market is different. So that's more like local adaptation, but yeah. not like the hardcore R and D, which is more much more ambitious. Like, okay, we solved the printer. Now we solve three D printed houses or C B presses. Right. But I, I I see that happening in the case of an OC campus. Say so yeah. We see campus in Indonesia. We yeah, see yeah. Campus, uh, yes, yes, yes. The, the, the That's where that yeah. that would come in. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. So in a larger, like a more ambitious uh, relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Like in a six. Yeah. Like steps down the road and yeah, because the entrepreneurship part would pave a good way it, uh, right. for like campus, because then you have some. Yeah economic operations that actually sustain that campus right. you know? so that's 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 it, the idea I just want to throw out that like you may even not need to pick something forever for example like if when you're starting it's easier to work on the DOAC brand and, and fabricate here mm -hmm. just to get your sales up and then you want to spin off into your own brand that's fine too I mean that's the nature of open source and I'm sure people are gonna to want to do that, possibly, or maybe they don't. Maybe they just like it that way, you know. Um, so in some franchise models, they they own, they have more flexibility or less. It sounds like you want to give, uh, like if they sign up for the credibility play, you want to give them flexi as much flexibility as possible, yeah. right? But you control the use of the brand and the quality, right? Yeah. That that would be what you would sign up for. I, I, primarily, the R and D function does not relate to your right. operations. Yeah, and we talk about brand, but I think it's more like at the end of the day. Yes, that's the brand. But I think at the end of the day, is more the fact that OEC has been around, so it already has access to social these networks of people. So I guess it's more like you know that the, that's the that would be the the value that you know from doing this rather than just can doing something because you could you could take this design put a brand on it, as long as you attribute the development to OEC and sell it completely independent from any of us. The advantage is that you, you're, you know, you're kind of joining a group rather than just going off on your own completely. Uh, <coughs> and I think that that's advantage to that. Okay. And I think that that's more where I'm referring when I talk about, it's not brand, is not the right word, it's more like there's already like a community and a thing going that it's easier for Cam to tap into than to break off on his own completely. Well, well, that's to be tested. I don't know, has anybody tried? There's all these other 3D printers. So to me, that's a business hypothesis that needs to be tested. And you probably want, from an ecosystem building point of view, like if we look at OAC, open source ecology, as a, as a concept, not a brand, then you probably want diverse, distributed, decentralized, independent uh, copies happen, because that would be a signal of health. Of a right. healthy no, ecosystem. No, 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 right. That, that is sort of, I'm just saying, if it was, if so, <laughs> this right. is up to Ken. I'm just saying, if it was me, I would rather tap into a group that already has some leads for sales and connections than go off on my own. But you can definitely, I'm just saying that the yeah. option of going completely on your own and having yes. nothing to do with this is, is available to you. Okay, yeah. That's true. And now it's Christian's turn to present. <laughs> yeah, but it's 6.30 and the time is up. Sorry. <laughs> Tomorrow again, say, Paul. Say, say goodbye to God. <laughs> no. Are you good? No, no. I can present more. Um, <laughs> let's actually do this like regularly. I think it was pretty productive today. Uh, Paul did a great job on the scheduling. Yes. Maybe I, you can uh, just schedule it. And and I think I locked you up. Yeah, Sorry. probably. <laughs> uh, oh, that, I got <laughs> hacked. Holy cow. At my own place. Yeah, so let's get a, let's put it on the calendar. Let's do 5.30 tomorrow and do that. Go yeah, at it for an hour. Tomorrow. That's good. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah? Sweet. Nice. Are you ready? Okay. I'm Look, ready. you did twice. You, ha you haven't stepped up yet.
Who's next? Hey, Alfred Christian. Well, what is this? No, it's like it's, uh, a, it's peer pressure. <laughs> peer pressure? <laughs> it's all pressure. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's all pressure. Which is like slightly... Yeah.